Hi, it's Mike German here from Visual Animation. Today's video coming up in just a few seconds is all about, and I'm going to see if I can do this. Did that look really weird? It's about googly eyes. I'm going to show you how to make googly eyes really quick and simple inside the Cinema 4D. So, right, so we start with a cube. Uh, let's go into go out shaded lines. Let's put three um, divisions in the in the Z. Uh, let's grab a correction deformer and make that a child of the cube. Um, let's go to filter and turn. Oh no, it's already on. Make sure SDS cage is turned on, else it will not work. Uh, we go to the the line edges tool. Go to correction. And now what we need to do is, oh, before we do that, let's grab a subdivision and put all of this into a subdivision surface. So you get this kind of little, kind of round barrel thing. Let's bring the subdivisions up here to four by four. Let's go back to correction now. Now we need to uh, press U and L on the keyboard. That gives us our loop selection tool. We click on the back one here, go back to the point at all and we can move this look and as you see it squashes this shape around the good thing here is we've still got a cube we haven't made it editable we're not messing with any of that so we're still starting with a cube um, what I'll do now is I'll just I'll just shrink the whole thing in the in the z-axis just so it's a smaller shape right now we're going to go back to correction uh, let's select with the this polygon selection tool here let's select the front face and um, with this um, scale tool already on we're going to shrink the front down like that just so it comes in so as you can see already we're starting to get that that shape of, of an eye okay so of, of, of the googly eye you know the, the, the one I've just shown you of the nice disc so you just just keep shrinking this until you're happy with it the other thing I, I would say what I like to do on these is to shrink them that way because a lot of the eyes you see some are round some have got this kind of more of a oblongy sort of off off circle aren't they kind of an elongated circle so that's what I tend to do with that let's also now just turn off the work plane just so we don't have that mesh going through so that's kind of the shape we want for the eye what we need to do now is we need to get a create a, um, a cloth surface okay and what we need to do actually we need to put the, the cube into the cloth surface like that and then we need to put the, the whole thing into the subdivision surface afterwards but bear with me because we need to change something on here click on cloth su surface sorry I can't talk today let's have a little sip of this even though it's four minutes hang on I haven't got time to drink. Um, let's take the subdivisions to zero. There we go. Now we get our circle back. Now let's put in a one on the thickness. Now I don't know if you saw what happened there, but we've actually now got um, a thickness of the lens. This is like the lens of the eye, and it just needs a little bit of thickness for it to look look more realistic. So now we've got that. We need to make the iris, which is the um, the bit that wobbles around inside the the thing. So we'll, we'll use a cylinder. We'll put it in the Z um, axis there, and we will take the height down to about 10. Okay, let's, um, I'll tell you what, before we go any further, let's just, I've already made some textures here, just to speed this up a little bit, but we've just got a transparent texture that I just want to throw on the, on the cube, um, because I want to see I want to see inside it to where this cylinder's sitting. Okay, so what we do, um, we we take the cylinder, but let's just take the rotations down to eight. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you why in a second. And we take the height down to zero. Right, so we've got a very low poly piece in there. Right, we call that low poly iris. Okay, and then we do a copy of that one, and we call it high poly. Um, iris and then we make that a child of the low poly iris okay and what we do is we turn off the low poly so it's red and then we turn on the high poly now the high poly we want to make about 40 
Okay, so we've got a, a higher version, a higher res version. Okay, now with the low poly, we right click and we add a simulation tag of a rigid body. And on the, let's call this, the subdivision surface is the eye. Okay, so the, we're gonna group all this in a second, but we'll, we'll call that eye, and then this is the iris. And then on here, we need to put a collider body. Okay, so what's gonna happen if we've got this right is that will drop inside there, you see? Okay, but it can't get out. It's got a collider body wrapped around it and it's just um, the iris is dropping down. Now the reason we've done a low poly and a high poly is, is the calculations on the low poly um, with the dynamics on it is, is gonna work a lot quicker than putting it on a high um, resolution object. You know, the more pieces, revolutions on here, the, uh, the more calculations there are. So we, so we drop it on a low poly and then just do a child of it in there and it works really well. So we've got that. We now need to, uh, we now need to create the back of this eye because these eyes are not transparent all the way through. They've got this white back on them. Okay, so what we do is we go into the eye, we go into the correction deformer, and then we press UL on the keyboard, and we just select, you just have to move this around sometimes, it doesn't always let you just select it, right, that bit there. We just need to select that back section, and then if we click off onto the pointer tool, and then we shift and click the back, because what, what we've done here is we've just selected this back piece that we're gonna store that selection now. So what we do is we go up to select and we go to store selection. And then we get this little selection, store selection tag. What we do with that is we want this to be on the cube because we're gonna add um, a white back to this, to this eye. So what we do with this, um, selected piece now. We just literally drag that poly selection onto the cube, okay? Now, we've already got the transparent material. We now need to drag the white. So I've just made, I've just made a real basic white material. So we drag that onto the cube, and now obviously the cube's all gone white. But what we need to do, where it says selection here, look, under material tag, we need to drag this poly selection tag onto here. And then what you'll see happen is it puts this white back in onto it. Um, so now what we need to do is put the, the black material on the low poly iris. So now you get this, and if I come off the garage shading lines, hey presso, we've got, and if I play this, we have the eye. And I can group this now into, let's just group this into um, let's put left eye, okay, and let's make, let's just stop that second, rewind that back, let's copy that out and call this one, I think you've guessed, um, right eye, unless you're doing a cyclops and you could just have the one, couldn't you? But we're going to do two for now and drag that out there and then group these and call them eyes. So now you have your little set of eyes. Now if we just play this back and then we grab this. Oh, it makes your eyes like that now, doesn't it, after watching that. <laughs> if you enjoyed making the googly eyes and you did it and you enjoyed it, please give Mike a like. Press the button below and I will make many more of these videos for you. Um, hope you did. I will see you soon in the next one. Bye for now.